right? We're not evaluating for anything with on our unit circle. So right now we know that cosecant uh, u equals negative 5 over 3. But we're not concerned with anything. We don't know exactly what our point is going to be on the unit circle. So what we need to do is we need to create a triangle. So Rebecca, by using your constraints, we can go ahead and now construct the correct triangle. So let's go ahead and write out a coordinate grid. And we know that our angle has to be within between pi and 3 pi over 2. So my triangle is going to look something like this, where here's my theta, or my angle u. And here's my right triangle, and here's my right angle. Now, cosecant of u equals negative 5 over 3. We need to remember from our trig, what is the cosine of an angle? What does that represent? Or the, sorry, the cosecant of an angle, what is that going to represent? And remember, that's going to be your hypotenuse over your opposite, right? Because sine is opposite over hypotenuse, and sine and cosecant Kind of cos sine and cosecant are reciprocals of each other, right? Yeah. Yes. OK. So we look at this, and we have 3 and 5. So therefore, we have our hypotenuse. And I should probably write this negative in front. We have our hypotenuse is 5, and then our opposite, which is negative 3. Then now we need to figure out what our adjacent side is. Well, we notice that this is a Pythagorean triple. So this is going to be 4. And since we're dealing with a, an angle in the third quadrant, we know that that has to be negative. Yep. Right? OK, so now all we're simply going to do is we can look at this. And for the tangent of a half angle, we know that what we need to do is um, plug them in. We need to plug in what the cosine of u is and what the sine of u is. Right, Kelly? So we can say that the sine of u in this triangle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. And the cosine of u of this triangle is going to be equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Now, ladies and gentlemen, all we're simply going to do is plug them into our formula and simplify. OK, uh, so what I would recommend doing here is combining our numerator. So I'd multiply by 5 over 5. So therefore, I have 5 over 5. That turns into a positive 4 over 5 divided by negative 3 over 5, which equals 9 fifths divided by a negative 3 fifths. Then to get our fraction off the bottom, we'll multiply by the reciprocal. That multiplies out to 1. Those divide out to 1. 9 divided by negative 3 equals a negative 3. Ta-da. There you go.